Hey, welcome to my video. In this video, I'm going to show you how to super clean your Mac. You will go from this to this. I deleted 66 gigabytes of trash, but in your case, it could be more or it could be less. In this video, I'm going to show you how to super clean your Mac so it'll run like new again. Okay, let's get started. The very first step that you need to do is empty your trash bin. If you have never done it, you will have many gigs accumulated in this trash bin. As you can see, I had 12 gigabytes of trash. We need to delete this. Go to Finder and click Empty Trash. Now that you don't have anything in your trash bin, the second step is to clean and organize your desktop. The more stuff that you have here, it'll take the longer for your computer to boot up and start the system. I want you to go file by file, video by video, folder by folder, and delete everything that you don't need. Even pictures of your ex that you don't want to see anymore. Delete everything. Once you know exactly what you're going to donate to the trash bin, just select everything and put it in the trash. Okay, this is looking better now. Let's move on to the third step. We're about to delete the cache. For this, we're going to go to Finder, click on Go, Computer, Macintosh HD. The name of your hard drive could be different if you changed it, but mine is this one. Double click, click on Library, and look for the cache folder. Now we're going to delete everything that it is in the cache folder. If you click on the button of Get More Information, you're not going to find that much trash in this folder, but Remember that we're going to super clean your Mac, so we're going to delete it. Once you click delete, it is going to ask you for your password, type it in and click OK. Now your computer it is appreciating this help. Let's keep moving. On the next step, we're going to go back to Finder, click on Go, find your keyboard and press the Option key. Hold it and you're going to see the library appear. Click on Library and now we're going to delete the system cache files. Find the cache folder and here's where you're going to find most of the trash. Select everything and send it directly to the trash bin. And don't worry, everything that you're going to delete here, it is totally safe. You're not going to lose any data or any important documents. You're just going to be deleting trash. Now that you cleared up the cache folder, we're going to do exactly the same to the cookies folder. Find it, select everything and put it in the trash. For the next step, you should go to my Teespring store and buy my merch. That will help this channel to keep creating more content and to complete for a down payment for my next Lamborghini. You will find the link in the description down below. Okay, back to business. Now that everything is in the trash bin, before getting rid of all of the trash, we need to restart the computer. Now that we are back up and running, let's click on the trash bin get more info and these are the gigabytes that we're about to delete. Wow, that's a lot. It could be different in your case, but in my case, it is a lot. Now let's eliminate this from our computer. Click on Finder and Empty Trash. And now everything it is deleted. Now your computer is feeling way better than how it was feeling two minutes and 50 seconds ago. Now let's jump onto the next one. If you're a Final Cut Pro user, you should be careful with your library. If you double click on Macintosh HD, Movies, you're going to find this untitled icon. This is where Final Cut Pro saves all of your videos and projects. If you always work on Final Cut Pro and you never delete them, you're going to find 50, 60, maybe 100 gigs stored in this icon. We need to delete it once in a while, but you gotta be careful. You need to make sure that all of your projects that you're working on are completed and you already saved your video and you're not gonna make any changes or edit it. Because once you delete this icon, everything is going to go to the trash and you're not going to be able to get it back. So that's why you need to be super careful. In my case, I don't need it anymore. All of my projects are completed, so I'm safe to delete. There's also another folder called Final Cut Backups. If you're going to delete your library, you're good to delete this one as well. Double click on it and delete everything that is inside. Now onto the next one. Check all of your applications and go one by one. Identify the ones that you're not using, that you never use and delete them. These applications could be using a lot of space that you can use for many other things. Select the application, right click and move to the trash. Do this to all of the applications that you're not planning to use, they are just hanging out and collecting dust. Now that we're here, click on your download folder. Most of the time you keep downloading stuff but you never delete them. Check everything and decide what you're gonna keep and what you're gonna send to the trash. In my case, I don't have anything that I'm gonna use anymore. As you can see, it is almost one gig and guess what? I'm gonna send it to the trash. By now your computer should be running smooth, like a baby's butt. But we're not gonna stop there, we're about to do the next step. For this next step, we're going to delete the iPhone or iPad backups that you're not gonna need anymore. We're going to open iTunes, click on iTunes, Preferences, 
and devices. If you like to connect your iPhone or iPad to the computer very often, your computer backs up your device by itself. It syncs all of your content and saves it into iTunes under the devices option. Now, if you have never deleted your backups, you might have backups from maybe three, four years ago that you're never gonna use. In case that you need to restore your device, iTunes will choose the latest backup. It'll never choose a backup that it is old or it's been there for months. It will always choose the latest. So in this case, you should delete the old ones and leave the most recent one. In my case, I never connect my phone or my device to the computer, so I don't have anything. But if you have some, you should delete them. Usually these backups are between 500 megabytes all the way up to five and six gigabytes. Okay, so far your computer, it is feeling fast like a Ferrari. We're not gonna stop there. We're gonna make it crazy fast, like Tesla Roaster fast. If you know what I mean, Jelly Bean. And for that, we're going to go to Safari and we're going to clean all the browsing history. And we're gonna take it one step further. Let's click on Safari, Preferences, Privacy, Manage Website Data, and click on Remove All. After that, click on Done. Now the website data has been removed. Our extra step is click on Advanced. On the bottom, you'll find this extra option that says Show Develop Menu in Menu Bar. When you click it, an extra tab will appear in the menu bar. And that's what we need. Select it and click on Empty Cache. Now close your window and quit Safari. After this, Safari will be free of trash and website data. And lastly, for our final step, we're gonna do exactly the same for Chrome. Open Chrome, click on the three little dots, Settings, scroll down to Advanced, click on it, Click on clear browsing data. Make sure all of these options are selected under basic. Also click on advanced and select all of them. And lastly, click on last hour and select all the time. And now click clear data. After this, close your window and quit Chrome. Your Chrome will be the same as Safari, clean and free of trash. After completing all these steps, don't forget to empty your trash bin one last time and you are done. You have completed this video and now you have some extra space in your hard drive. If this video was helpful for you, don't forget to click the like button, subscribe and share. I'll see you on the next one.